so uh, welcome to our channel ipm classes in earlier video we have talked about pointers and uh, again we come with pointers but this time we will let you know how we can use unicode strings in the pointer so handling of unicode strings in pointer is the uh, today's topic so we have created some demo programs for the same uh, we'll show you one by one so this is the first basic program in which we have taken an unicode variable which is ucs2 variable which is of length 25 so the for ucs2 variable the character type is c and we have defined the ccs id for that is 1200 so which means that the variable is unicode enabled right now we have declared one pointer and then again we have declared one final string so this is the input string and this is the final string and this string is based on this pointer so now we have evaluated test unicode name and this unicode variable so for this we have used uh, percentile ucs2 inbuilt ibm function so with uh, whose syntax is like this percentile ucs2 then character value in quotes in colon then the ccs id which is 1200 here now again we have uh, passed the address of this to this pointer and since this string is based on this pointer so this will hold the value this in unicode so we will show you how this works so for this we have to compile this program with debug v star source so that we can debug this program Now we will debug this UTR1 program. We will set the breakpoint. Then we call this program to see how it works. Currently, this contains blank as usual. Now, this will have this test Unicode name value which is in unicode format not in character format since we cannot see those single quotes in starting and, and at the end as well so now we'll pass the address of this to this pointer name currently this holds null so after this this will hold the value of this and this will hold the address of this string you can see the value here eval then pointer name and colon and c then then 25 so we can see that we are not unable to see that unicode value because so this is in the unicode format and this won't uh, show correct correctly so but since this address uh, and this string is based on this address so this will hold that unicode value test unicode name so this is the final result and that gets displayed as well you can see in display job log enter then f10 and shift f6 this is the unicode string test unicode name gets displayed on the screen now again we have one more example uh, here uh, with the unicode unicode string and right uh, for this we have created one sub procedure which is exportable so for this we have defined no main since so this module does not contain any main procedure so we have created procedure we have created procedure prepare unicode string whose prototype is defined here so it will take input as pointer and return pointer as well so this is the pi for the same Now we have declared one uh, string variable, final unicode string, which is 25c, means ucs2, and ccs id is 1200. 
and this is based on this pointer variable this one so this pointer variable will hold the address on which unicode value gets saved or hold gets holded so we have uh, whatever the input address will come it will get evaluated to this pointer and then this final unicode string is based on this pointer as here so we will append this date to this, this string and then we will return the final uh, we will return the address of this final unicode string to the calling procedure so for that we have created one calling program as well in which we have to create the prototype for that pro sub procedure so that we can call that sub procedure from here we have declared one input name string and we have declared one final name is final unicode string both are 25c in ucs2 and ccs id 1200 set and this final string is based on this pointer now we have evaluated this today's date is into the input name string and then we have passed the address of that input name string to our prepare unicode string procedure and that will return the address to this ptr for final for final unicode string and then we will display final unicode string uh, unicode value which is based on this ptr for the final unicode name string so for this we have to first create the module for this since this is a uh, no main procedure no main module so we'll create this in qtemp with source debug view as star source you can see that module gets placed in qtemp now we'll create the service program ptr2 qtemp module is same export star all service program this gets created in qtemp library now again we will create the module for this calling program in qtemp with debug view and star source so that we can debug this module for this get place in qtemp now we will create the program call ptr2 qtemp call ptr2 qtemp now since we are calling that sub procedure prepare unicode string from this calling program so we have to bind that service program in which that sub procedure is declared is defined so for this we will bind this ptr2 service program into this program now this program gets created now we will debug this program ok command this not valid in this node so first we will end debug then this will debug this program set the breakpoint and now we will call this program we can see this uh, that currently this is blank and after this this will hold today's data now this procedure gets called here it is null and we have passed the address of this string into this procedure we will go into this procedure by taking shift f10 and then uh, we have come across that now we will see that this this is the input pointer address which holds that unicode value now this is this will be null after this this will hold that the same address address of this is the same address passed here so again we can see this value 
in unicode format so we cannot see this value here but we can see the value here because this is this is string is based on this pointer as you can see here this is string is based on this pointer variable so whatever the value at this address will be folded by this string now we will append this date so final unicode string now becomes today's date is this and we will return the address of this final unicode string then we have you can see that earlier this was null now it will have some address so what exactly the value at this address is <coughs> this again we cannot see this because this is in unicode but this string is based on this pointer as here so we can see the value here in this string today's date is 2019 527 so it gets displayed in other programs see in the log f shape of 6 see we can see that junicode value gets displayed here so in this video we have talked about handling of unicode strings with pointer in, in simple very simple program uh, that is PTR1 and in sub procedures uh, using uh, by creating the service programs for the same so this is all about uh, this video so we have covered unicode handling of unicode with pointers in sub procedures in this video uh, we'll come with some other examples in the next video till the time uh, Goodbye.